Bianca Vivacqua, thank you so much for doing this. I really appreciate it. You just won physique overall at the Los Angeles Fit Expo. How was the experience for you? The experience was great. Uh, actually, I had about like two years that uh, I took a break uh, from competitions. Uh, I got a few injuries. Uh, and also I was trying to get more muscle for, for my next show. Uh, and so I took two years break and then I came back for this show. Uh, I was, I just, actually, I just prepared four weeks before, but I'm always trying to keep my shape, like pretty close to the competition shape the whole year long. So, uh, it was pretty, pretty amazing. Like if after two years, step on the stage again and get a first place, uh, I didn't expect, but I was really happy about it. How do you do that, staying in shape all year long? Actually, my diet doesn't change much. Uh, actually, the only thing I change in the off season is that I, I don't measure my food. I eat a little bit more, but actually the, the food is the same. Even the prep in my off season is the same thing. Well, we see a lot on social media, you're, you're juicing a lot. I'm only bringing that up because you posted about that a little bit. That, that's fun to do, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Anything favorite that you like with the juicing, with the fruits and the veggies? And so I, I used to uh, blend a lot of vegetables. So um, I love like my pineapple, mint, kale, and spinach juice. <laughs> uh, and also like I'm a big fan, like I, I love it, uh, ginger. So uh, every morning I drink like ginger with a turmeric and, uh, and lemon. It's kind of like a detox and anti-inflammatory. So it's really good when you hit your body really hard, like you have inflammations and all the, all the, the, the soreness. Um, so the, the ginger help a lot. So that's what I drink first thing in the morning. And then I get my greens and then my breakfast. <laughs> when you're on prep from morning to night, what's a typical day look like for you? What is the what? So uh, when you're on prep from morning to night, What's a typical day look like for you? Uh, so uh, I'm a trainer, so I work in the gym most of the day. Uh, I wake up and I, I get my cardio done in the morning. Uh, and then I have my clients. So usually I train myself around noon. Um, so I, I leave home like at 7 a.m. and I bring all my meals with me. I do my cardio, I have my clients. I stop between clients to eat my meals every three hours. So, and then I get my workout done around noon. And then I have a few more clients sometimes uh, afternoon and evening. So, and then I get home night time. Uh, that's pretty much my every day. Uh, even uh, just Sundays, I take my day off. Uh, when I'm prepping, actually I train seven days a week, but uh, I don't work on Sundays, but it's kind of like, if, the day for myself. Is there, <laughs> is there a body part that you have to work on more than others? So I had been working a lot on my shoulders. Um, it was a really hard for me to build shoulder. Uh, I actually, it's easy for me to build arms like biceps and triceps. And I, I gotta kind of be careful on that because if my arms grow too much, my shoulder looks smaller. So I kind of have like, uh, I don't train much arms and I train shoulders two or three times a week. And, and right now, because I'm going to compete again in three weeks and a half. So what I'm doing is I, I took a look in my overall shape in the last show. And I think I got to work a little bit on my glutes and hamstrings. Uh, wasn't that tight enough like he, because my actually my back is pretty lean it's pretty like hard and then when you see like my back posing my hands and glutes doesn't match that much with my back so i want to bring in my next show right now my hands and glutes harder look harder that's, that's my goal right now i'm training more uh for the next three weeks that's really cool how about we uh j jump back in time a little bit boxing in brazil for nine years uh what was that like oh uh, box actually also was my passion uh i started box just like for fun and i got in love it um 
So I did it for nine years. Um, and I, I stopped because I, I broke my finger. I didn't break my finger doing boxing. It um, was a, a little stupid accident. But uh, And after that, I had to stop for a while. I got a three surgeries in my hand. Um, and then after that, I moved to United States. So that's why I don't practice boxing for about six, seven years. But I did that for a long time in my life. Sometimes I like to play around. I still I still doing good on it. But uh, but yeah, I really love it. Uh, but because uh, I, started in, I started to compete, and it took me too much time to put a muscle on and lift the weights. So the box kind of like I put on the side. Uh, my cardio... I don't do much box for cardio, so my cardio right now is more like Stairmasters and treadmill. Um, try to like uh, don't burn any muscle and just the fat. That's what uh, that's the reason I'm not practicing box as much anymore. But I really love it. And you used it to you used account. to you used to burn do, a lot of calorie. Yeah, that's awesome. And you used to do kickboxing too. Yeah. Yeah, actually, I mean, I like more the boxing than the kickboxing. I don't like much the the kick, so I like the the punch. So, <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, because my uh, the, my instructor in Brazil, he used to be champion of boxing and kickboxing. So he always put a kickboxing mixing with it in the sessions. That's great. Yeah. How about um. When you're not doing athletic things, what else do you like to do? I'm really like a quiet. Like I, I love to stay home, watch movies, uh, enjoy time with my dog. Uh, I have like a 13 years uh, old dog, so he's like my baby. Uh, his name is Johnny. But uh, beside that, I love to go to the beach. So when I have a chance, when the weather it's warm. I love to go to the beach. That's my favorite thing on the weekends. And you're in San Diego, so you're close to the beach. Yeah, yeah, pretty. Right now it's kind of cold here, but <laughs> yeah, but we have like a really nice weather most year. Yeah, long. Bianca, someone might be watching this video right now and they're thinking, they might be thinking, I wish I could work out and eat healthy like Bianca all the time. What would you say to them? So I think like uh, when you have like a healthy lifestyle, uh, you kind of like feel good with yourself. Uh, bring me happiness because I do what I love and I feel good about it. So um, sometimes uh, when I like I, I, I notice when I'm not eating uh, that healthy or when I eat something outside of my diet, um, if I go a little longer in that way, I start don't feel that good. So with myself, my body and everything. So I think it's more like about like you worry about your health, your happiness, you feel good about it. You like what you're doing, and especially when you see results, you just want to keep it going. And I just recommend like everyone to take care of themselves, to do everything they can because we ha just have one body. So take care when you can, it's really important. And also you're gonna be happy about it, for sure. You have a beautiful accent. Let's end this video. <laughs> Let's end this video with another language. Do you wanna say anything in Portuguese to your friends and family who support you? That's gonna be cool, okay. So, right, I, I'm ready? Ready. Okay. Uh, eu quero agradecer a todos os meus amigos do Brasil, que eu sinto muita saudade. É, a toda a minha família, a minha mãe especialmente, que me dá todo o suporte. É, a minha mãe está o tempo inteiro do meu lado. Eu amo muito a minha mãe e eu dedico a ela toda essa minha vitória. E eu amo muito o Brasil. Sinto muita saudade de todos. Um beijo. Awesome. Ok, I know you're busy. I'll let you go. Um, have a good rest of the day, ok, Bianca? E thank you so much for the interview. Alright, talk to you later. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.